YouTube. Um, this is that fish breeder here with Triops Day Seven. So it's uh, the Triops have been alive for a week now, and as you can see here, the Triop is right there. And as you can see, he has grown a lot. Um, I know I said this like uh, for the last three days, but this time he's huge. Um, the camera can so easily see him that he like. Uh, I actually think he needs a bigger tank, not just because of uh, he like the conditions in which he's in. It's a little yellowish, as you can see, and there's back there a lot. All the black stuff is poop and and some wood from the detritus up here, but uh, and the cl clearish brownish stuff that's all exoskeletons that he's been shedding because uh, he needs it every time he grows in size. And that just proves how much bigger he is. Um, uh, the instructions state, uh, so here's the instructions, this green manual here. And, um, let's see. Uh, today, day seven, so right there, says to feed your triops half of one green and one brown pellet simple enough but it also states that um to clean every day to ensure well yeah just to make sure the tank water is clear so that's what i'll be doing and uh i think i will follow its rule of feed them twice a day because today i actually fed half a pellet uh i mean sorry half of two pellets the green and brown ones uh crushed them up with these two spoons here oh sorry about that uh this spoon here and this random spoon i got in some cereal box anyways as i was saying um took those two crushed up some of the pellets and you can still see some of the pieces from it but then put the pieces of the crushed up pellet in here uh and fed half and i actually did that this very morning um that i'm making this video so there he is uh and it's probably and oh sorry um i put it here but it's all gone i fed the half and he's eaten every last bit of it which I know you'd probably be thinking, well, uh, that's what the instructions say to do. But these instructions are meant. Oh, well, okay. These instructions are meant for uh, numerous amounts of triops, not one. But this one triop is doing what uh, many triops could do. So basically, what I'm trying to say is he has a voracious appetite. And um, it's proving that with his major weight gain there um he's actually not so much actually gaining in width but rather length there he is as you can see it's a lot longer with that little tail of his uh he's, he likes to play with this um detris up here which you use to feed them when they're young it it feeds them infusoria but i'll explain that in my video oh yeah i'll, I'll tell you that um i'll be making a video uh, may, possibly after this series, or possibly in the, uh, in a couple videos from now, of how to care for traps, because I've had a lot of experience with these. You'd probably think, this, that isn't a lot of experience. Well, I've kept them three times before, and this is my fourth, and all of them were successful, except one of them. Well, they were all successful, but the first one, they all died in a week, but it was my first time, and I was eight. And it was a long time ago, so uh, I couldn't have known better. So uh, that's my excuse. But for my other videos, my second—I'm uh, sorry, not uh, for my second and third experiences—I did really well. Um, I kept them for the second time for a month, thirty days. The and the third time I kept them for forty-four days, which is a month and a half exactly. Um, and this, I don't, and this is my fourth try. Let's see how long we can keep them. 
but uh things are going pretty swell uh and um, he's growing a lot and uh yeah that's basically it uh there's nothing else besides that except that i'm starting to feed uh twice each day and he's grown a tail that i don't think the camera can pick it up but it's like two four tails uh, and the last thing is that um, I decided to keep the fairy shrimp because I've never really had a fairy shrimp before. So it'd be kind of a new experience to keep one. So um, what I decided to do is place, um, actually keep him in a, this container or possibly a larger one and put the chop in this container. Now this is going to be his new container. It's a cricket keeper. They sell these at like Peko and Petsmart for kind of cheap. Uh, and traps are pretty good in these, but you can only fit like at the max two. But he, we only have one here, so it's simple. So, uh, anyways, as I was saying, um, I also wanted to ask a question on this video if anyone's ever kept fairy shrimp before or, uh, wanted to be uh like knows a lot about crustaceans in general i suppose um do you know what kind of fairy shrimp i have like let's see he's really clear that's why it's kind of hard you can see right there he's moving very long though but still the chop's bigger um yeah i don't think the camera can pick this up but uh he has a he has no color at all except for on his ver on the very very end of his tail like I think one millimeter of the end of his tail there's actually there's red oh there's a try out there but um it's actually red and I think well I'm not really good with fairy shrimp so I'm kind of guessing but I think it's a beaver tail which is a kind I've seen but I I'm not sure um I'm not really good with crustaceans, really. So, there. Yeah, you can't really pick up the red, because that's just how small the red uh, amount is. So, if anyone can tell me, though, please uh, just comment below. Uh, rate uh, this video, subscribe, and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. That Fish Breeder, signing out.